Hey, what's up, NY Pre, my chargies? What's up, what's up? It's Monster Tamer Animated back with another episode of Pokemon Bazaar. Please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's go ahead and jump into the episode. So, in the last episode, we made a journey through a snowy mountain peak. We saw the um, cowboy guy get teleported into the mountain peak. Then we made it to this new town where we had a rap battle with some girl here. So let's just go ahead and go around the town and see what's happening. I have a special brownie recipe. It's not suitable for children. Best not to tell too many people about this. Okay. Found moo milk. So I guess there's a gym battle in this town as well. Imagine having to play a Pokemon fan game or worse, having to translate one. <laughs> Right? Alright, anyway, let's search for hidden items. What the hell's going on down there? Why is that guy spinning on top of his head? Let's check out more of these um, houses. Oh shit. Melina. Oh, oh, Mikey, you're here. Come on. We're at a table in the back. Oh shit, here's Boabob, is his name or something like that. I found out, man. It I found our manager at the entrance. Our, I think that should be our. Oh Mikey, how's how's it going? Look, we've come to see a pianist. We heard that there was a great foreign pianist in the region. Yeah man, and we have finally found her. She'd better be good. It took a long time to get here and it's freezing cold. Well, she's gonna start now. Sorry. Hey, doesn't she remind you of the Sinnoh champion? Yes, she's her her cousin. Really? No, I just made made it up. Ah. Let her play. I've been listening to you. You're not wrong. I am her cousin. Really? Man, Melina, you really know everyone. My name is Paloma. Thank you for coming to listen to me. I, sorry, it, it was impressive. Not bad. Wow, you're so cool. Oh, oh, thank you. This is the first time that so many people have come to see me. I've been staying in town for a few days because I'm traveling through Quintulas. But I just saw this piano and fell in love. Paloma, I heard how cool you were in Queen City and that's why we came to see you. We're called The Soundless. We are putting together a cool music band. Oh, and I sense that you have come to ask me to join your group. How did you? Yes. It was exactly that. She's a smart girl. Ah, it's not the first time I've been asked. So would you like to? It's true that I, it would give me a good opportunity to travel. Still, I didn't come to play. I came to fight. I'm a trainer. Ah, well, look, we have someone who's very strong. Oh, are you a trainer too? He's Mikey, or manager. He's not bad. Well, how about this? If you beat me, I'll join you. Come on, come on, Mikey, come on, come on. Well, let's get to it, okay? Random battle against Cynthia's cousin. And a Togekiss. Okay, okay, okay. I have no idea I'm gonna take this shit down. No, we're faster than it. I didn't expect that. Um, it's a fairy type, right? So, he, oh shit, we almost died. Now we died. I'm saying it's a fairy type, so dark type moves wouldn't be um, effective. Alright, we took it down. I think I need to switch out this firebird and get something else on the team, right? Because I already have a fire, t fire type and since we don't need to use fly then I can just switch something with some other Pokemon. Alright, two Pokemon down, Garchomp. Now which one is faster, Garchomp or Haxorus? Alright, so my Haxorus is actually faster but we didn't take it out. Okay, but she missed the um, dragon rush and switched out. Sent out the rose raid. We took it down in two dragon claws. 
No, I'm not gonna switch. Let's just take it down. That was lucky me, and that, that freaking Garchomp is two, three levels higher than Axorus right here. Lucky. Absol. Don't have a fighting type, so I, I might. That's 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 probably what I do. Switch it out to a fighting type or something. Okay. So quick one. Oh, one claw, one dragon claw took it out. Galade. Galade is a fighting psychic. Protect. Okay. Faint. Dragon claw. Oh, almost took it down in one. Dragon claw. Excuse me. I have a hiccup for some reason. I'm just trying to learn stored power. What does stored power do? Accumulates power to hit. To hit. The power uses characteristics to increase the... No. Yes. Forget that. No! Let's forget it. No. Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Wow, you're really strong. My cousin would like you. Well, Palumbina, do you want to join us? Well, it might be fun, why not? Perfect. Mikey, another job well down. Done. Well, gang, we're off to Maiden I Island. Okay, Maiden Island. I took a break from the hot springs to have some hot chocolate. I could have some tea, but you know, chocolate just tastes better. You should try some. You buy hot chocolate here. It has mosto and beer, not no chocolate. Oh, Ar 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 oh, Arceus, thank you for this chocolate. Okay, whatever. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. You're wondering why I'm wearing my cap backwards. I don't know, because it's fashion, you know? Oh, a visitor. Here, have a totally useless item for coming to keep us company. Sticky barb, okay? At least it's cool. Alright, what's in this building? I should go here, right? Oh, visit. Are you collecting all the Quintulus badges? I have a daughter who was very fond of Pokemon battles. Unfortunately, we had several problems with her, and in the end, well, she's no longer at home. I wonder if she's okay. Hopefully, she'll be back soon. Are you training Pokemon? Good, good. It's something that helps young people a lot in learning responsibility. Take care for Pokemon traveling alone. It's a lot of responsibility. It's a great experience. People change during their travels and learn many things. Alright, so I need to get to this. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, hurry. Find the freaking um gym, I guess this is it, okay. Good morning, young challenger. Welcome to Eminemshia and Doggins Gym. Those two trainers have the best teamwork in all of Quintulis. In order to overcome their hot attacks and icy defenses, you will need your Pokemon to work together. Your fighting style is like synchronized dance. You have to dance to the sound of their attacks. So do you want to go on stage? Yes. Yes, let's go. I, I guess the fire and ice types. I don't know how I'm going to take them on, but whatever. Hey, you're already here. I can already feel the frenzy of your heartbeat. But don't stop, car. We won't get straight to the we won't get straight to the point. Dog in, let's talk. Okay, alright. To fight us, you don't just need to be a good at battling, you also have to show your skills on the dance floor. Oh okay, come on. Stand to my right. Alright. Alright, you'll have to beat three opponents. You will have to defeat each of them in dance and in a roaring battle. So I have to beat them in dance and battle, not not one or the other. Send new Rina new Rhea in. I'll show you my couple rare moves, okay? Alright, ready, set, go! A... Oh shit, which one of these are mine? Ah come on. I have to use the keyboard. You're not that bad. You're not bad at all. Let's see how you do in battle. So did I beat her? I guess. 
abominable. Iron defense. Let's go. Another flame charge. Your defense. Yeah, keep raising your defense. I didn't mean to use blaze. Kick shit. You got confused. Alright. She down, she down it goes. Alright, so we beat that one. It was a close call though. That copper air was not enough. Well, Mikey wins the round. Alright, so I guess the keyboard again. You seem to be doing well. Get ready. Adela don't, doesn't mess around. Let's begin. Right, let's see what goes on here. I dance to the rhythm of my grandmother's pacemaker. You better not stop me. Alright, ready, set, go. Okay, oh shit. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. Oh shit. Bro, I missed almost every damn thing there. <laughs> I was going way too fast. You're pretty good at rocking. Let's see if you can follow my guitar solo. I missed every single button there, bro. And they didn't give me a chance to heal. Alright, we took Chadot down with two throw chops. At least that was a good we had. Throw traps to stop it from using its um, sound moves. And camera goes down in one skull. And while this pacemaker stopped. Well, Mikey wins this round. Well, I'm, I'm playing the game on fast forward, so that's why the dancing is kind of hard. Way to go, dude. It's time for the last duel. Get ready to flap your wings. One, two, three, one. Step forward, one step back. Let's move the muscles. All right, ready, set, go. Oh shit! D D D. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bro. Oh, those are some good steps. I missed most of those. Go ahead, let your Pokemon show off their dance. Well, at least it, we doesn't, it doesn't say we failed when I missed the freaking buttons. Okay, so it's gonna take us down. Is it just an ice type or is it ice water? Freeze dry, that's gonna take us down, okay. Will we get a chance to... Oh shit, how did the freeze dry hit? The second time before our um, wild charge. It's crazy. Alright, this one actually took down two of our Pokemon. Mammo Swine. Alright, Mammo Swine is ice ground, right? Let's see what Skull does. Ooh, actually takes it out with one. Okay, it didn't go in one hit, but almost did and it got burned. That's it, right? Lampin, nope. Lampin goes down in one hit. Alright, one, two, three. Victory. Well, Mikey wins the round. This round. Very good, Mikey. You seem to know how to go with the flow. Well, get ready, as Dagon, our Dagen, and I are the hottest duo. We'll show you our brilliant teamwork. My Pokemon will scorch you with their incandescent power. While Doggin support will support me with his powerful blizzards. Mikey face our biting fury. No, so you don't give me no chance to Bro. That's totally unfair. You don't give me any chance to heal between any of the battles? Not even to face the freaking gym leader. Bro, one pyro ball took us out too. Crazy bro. crazy bro oh they healed us okay I'm not even, I'm not even really paying attention to that they healed us oh shit that side is a fire type so I shouldn't be attacking it with fire moves 
so dumb, so dumb, so dumb. We should be attacking this side with fire moves. Mm, that still didn't go down. another blaze kick I think I have some potions right use it to heal Bino all right we got a crit there fire spin again come on come on flame charge acrobatics over there oh shit she went for full she went for full score Heal Dino again. You missed the blaze kick, come on. Soul goes down. What type are these Pokemon? Are they ice type or are they freaking fire type? That's what I don't get. Because I'm hitting with hitting them with um fire type uh, command. With the four store. Okay, so that one is fire type. Pasimian is fire type. Okay, so Pasimian is down, right? Shout out needs to get hit with a throw chop. Okay, well, we didn't get hit shout out with the throw chop. Fainted. Fainted, okay. Switched out, shout out White Guard, Scald and Mr. Man, okay. So guess what? Revive. I have a few of them. Coming back out for you. Blizzard avoided the attack. I see him in the cool. Come on, even that dog didn't take down this damn thing. Blizzard take, takes down. Blizzard took down um, Crobat. Ice Beam. This is a good move, right? This is a good move. Uh, uh, let's, let's get rid of that for now. Let's go a Blaze Kick and another Scald. Don't die. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Why do you keep dying to one freaking hurricane? No, I don't want to learn no guillotine, bro. Yes, not learn guillotine. Okay. So the one Pokemon I have left out is a dragon type with only dragon type moves. Alright, so I'm going to use a Haxorcius Town to heal Mila. Turn to heal Mila. And then go. Thunderbolt on Mr. Ryan. Damn. Let's do the heal again. Blizzard, Blizzard, Blizzard. Okay, the, the, the Blizzard missed. The Blizzard missed. We won. Wow. What verbal abuse. You really mastered freestyling. That was awesome. Right, Doggin? Doggin is as impressed as I am. Okay, well, let me see where I put that badge. No, not here, not in this pocket either. Hey, Doggin, the badge disappeared. Don't you have one in your pocket? We forgot the badge at the club. Or do you say you take a little spin and come to our abode? It's close to the entrance. Just go straight ahead and to the east. It's impossible to miss. Come on, Doggin. We'll wait for Mikey at DDB's. Okay. Straight ahead into the east. Oh, there it is. And here is Samira again. What? What are you doing here? Are you spying on me again? Anyway, what's the difference? This one here is my home. Well, it was until they kicked me out. 
I've been having addiction problems for a long time. I mean, betting and all that. I was always wasting all my money on things like that. Well, and I keep losing it, but it's just I can't help it. Here, there's always that allure of earning more and more. In the end, I ended up spending my parents' money and the snowball got bigger and bigger. And well, you can imagine what happened. It's been a year so or so since it all crashed down on me. Anyway, I don't even know why I'm telling you this. You were listening before, didn't you? I guess you've heard that what Faye said, but I don't have the strength to see my parents. I'm still the same as ever and I still and still obsessing about stupid things. Look at me. Now I'm obsessed with beating you in a Pokemon battle when I've always been pretty much a sucker for the whole world of Pokemon. Uh, you faced Eminemshia Emin and Doggen, didn't you? Fighting you reminds me of playing with them and Faye a few years ago. It's absurd, but I know you I know you fight with the same intensity as those three. Anyway, I'll see you later. I'll beat you, so keep winning until then. Alright, is this the club though? BDB. No, it's up here, I guess, right? No, there's it's literally there where we went the last time I saw the piano play in person. It's not here? It literally says, isn't this DDB on the sign? Not here either. Okay, I guess it's up those stairs because I don't remember going up those stairs. Let me just go ahead and heal. Alright, but uh, we actually took on the battle and won. At least this is not some crazy ass battles like Pokemon Reborn. This is it, right? Okay, people, people. Alright, here they are. No, you can't pass. Only true DDBs have access to that room. Come on, man. It's only for a second. Why do you have to be so stubborn? Oh, Mikey, you're here. Look. I know Latus kicked me out of Interpok and all that, but... I can't let them break my pride like that, you know what I mean? One of Interpox's best policemen fired from his job. But I... But I can't just leave it at that. As your teacher, I would be letting you down, understand? So I got to thinking and bingo, I found a lead I could follow. Stain's former laboratory. And today, it's known as DDB's club. There's a room in the back that could contain interesting information, but this guy won't let me in. Didn't anyone teach you manners? Relax, I'm the boss here. Bobby, that room hasn't been used for years. It's fine if someone wants to check it out. But, but I'm a Nimshia. We can't just let anyone in. It doesn't matter. Even if we were hiding something important, anyone is welcome to browse through our stuff. See, there's someone who knows how to respect people's individual freedoms. Uh, but you're not respecting their individual freedom for saying you're not allowed in there. Walk him inside for a second. Let our, hospital let our hospitality be known all over the world. Uh, fine. Come on, follow me. Bobby has been acting strange since he came back for, from vacation. I guess he must have had a bad time. But well, back to our main topic. We found the badge. Mikey, your dance style and your fighting have been brilliant. You have proven to be a master in battle. That's why Doggin and I will keep an eye on your journey from now on. Here you go, the duet badge. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you! I feel like I'm forgetting something. What about you, Doggin? Well, I imagine you'll want to do, go to the next gym. You'll have to go south and take the cable car down. There you'll have to find a way to cross the ocean. Then you'll have to set course for Maiden Island. Well, I got what I was looking for. See you. What were you looking for? Hey, wait, where's Bobby? Is he still in there? Let's take a look. Did you dude punch Bobby in the eye? Hey, didn't you, ju didn't you just leave? Mikey, they hit me from behind. Bobby, that's not Bobby. Uh, what do you mean Bobby is not Bobby? He stole my evidence and ran. Hey, don't joke around. 
We just saw you leave a few seconds ago. Where's Bobby and who could have could that person have been? Mikey, we'll take care of this. Take care of this turkey. You go outside and see if anything unusual is going on. Yeah. I guess that person was disguising himself as Bobby or so on or so on. And then they punched Nook in the face. Let me through. I'm in a hurry. Hey, 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 hey. You're the one who pushed Mikey towards that robot in the ruins. You don't get away with that. Okay. Do you think I'm going to let you through just like that? All right. I've been waiting to run into you again. No, no, no. Wait. I'm not that person. See? I'm someone else. W what the hell? That suit is so cool. Where did you get it? <laughs> well, I made it myself. It took me a lot of work to develop it. Now, can you let me through? Wait, there's Mikey. Shit, I lost my chance to escape because of that idiot. You saw it all, didn't you? Anyway, my name is Keroro. I'm an ACP intelligence agent. That man, Nook, we knew he was up to something. That's why I was sent to track him down. Thanks to my Kecleonic 3000 exosuit, I can infiltrate any building. Impersonating a member of this club was a piece of cake. At first, I thought I could prevent the inspector from entering Stain's office, but that didn't work. So I had to knock him out and delete all the data from the PC, although luckily I, have, I saved the backup. Why did you tell me that? You're stupid as a villain. Why did you tell me Why did you tell me you have a backup? I imagine you were after the information that was on Stain's old PC. <laughs> well, come on. Welcome. And get it if you want. Oh shit, I don't want to fight. C -c come on. I'm not afraid of you. C come, if you dare. Yeah, I'm going with that ass, bro. You're bluffing, but the bluff doesn't work. Stand shit. Wrong Pokemon out for that. Switch. Slow down. Oh shit, and it poisoned us. Oh, come on, bro. I did way too much damage. Oh, it's not even a freaking star me, it's a freaking Zoroark. Come on, bro. Man, don't get poisoned. Yo, that did a lot of damage. They hit hard. They hit hard, bro. Kiroa was about to send out Kecleon. Uh, I don't have anything that has. I don't have a fighting type. I'm gonna switch. Um. I'm gonna switch. Um. Fire flying bird thing. What's its name again? I don't remember its name, but I'm gonna switch it off the team right now. It's been useless so far. It's a pretty good Pokemon overall, but I don't know why it's been useless to me in this game. Okay, we got paralyzed full power two twice, so we lost that Pokemon. How the hell doesn't psychic affect? Why doesn't Psychic affect Kecleon? Is it a dark type? Alright, we took it down in two green kisses though, I didn't expect Expect it to last for one draining kiss. Cause I thought the HP bar was empty but I guess it had like one HP or so. Alright, cool. Tommy's down. Ah, it's all going down the drain. Damn it, sh shit. I don't even know why I keep trying direct confrontations. No matter, I have an ace up my sleeve. Saying that the ACP always has an ace up its sleeve is going to become a cliche. Ah, 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 ah. No flash. What the? Response UAV, see ya. Ow, that was... What was that? I can't see anything. Mikey, are you okay? It doesn't look like anything happened to you. So, that was one of the ACP. What was he doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Well, I don't really care. I was on my way to see the, the leaders. I want to get my badge. Uh, we're moving up in the world, aren't we? Ugh, ugh, Mikey, are you okay? Did you get the evidence back? Some weird dude blinded us with a bright light and ran away. He had a very cool suit. So it wasn't Bobby after all. I, th 
I thought he had returned too soon from his vacation. You're okay, aren't you? That other time, I shouldn't have left you against the robot. I didn't want anything serious to happen this time. Don't tell me. And now, they got me from behind just when I started looking at what was on that computer. So the only thing I was able to see is an email. It seemed to be someone staying co contacted some time ago. That's the only clue we have. I don't get it. Where the hell is the ACP hiding? Because of their portals, it's almost impossible to know where they may be hiding. Well, we're all good now. Good then, aren't we? Um, uh, M&M, she a doggin. Look, look what your TV is showing, right? Show, what, look what they're showing on TV, whatever. They finally put on something that isn't crap. Breaking news. Breaking news, it's, it seems that sightings of strange portals continue to spread throughout Quintolis. As described by witnesses, these appear to be formed by some kind of golden ring surrounding a dark abyss. Numerous people have already been affected throughout the region. One of them has been two one of them has been two inhabitants of Beetletown. Okay. That's a weird sentence. Hello, Mrs. Robinson. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Can you com comment on your experience with these portals? One of those things has already grabbed my husband twice. The first one was while he was fooling around on Mount Uriel and the portal appeared right on him. But then while we were cooking, another portal appeared on the sink and took him away. It had a purple glow and it also went boom. It was so loud that I thought the region went to war again. Ugh. Ugh. He was later found lying in Bangla City in front of a building. Thank you very much for your kind words, Mrs. Robinson. Another of those affected by these mysterious portals is Andy, a member of the YMCA. Good morning, Andy. Where is she? I don't see her. Sir, she's talking to you through the earpiece. Are you talking to me with this the mystic arts? What the hell is going on? How do I get home? It's colder than at my aunt's, Aunt Marissa's wedding. Andy, sorry, can you tell us about your experience with the portals? There's that voice again. Again, who, who's talking to me? I should have never, ha I should never have drank that cactus juice. First the portals, and now there's voices in my head. I just want to go home. So Andy's <laughs> downright stupid, bro. Well, Andy, thank you for your kind words. Wow, Mikey, did you see that? The Robinsons were on TV. Looks like they're famous now. Oh, what a disaster. Can't people just sit still? It's so easy to research other things and they just had to choose portals. Don't these scientists re realize that all the problems they're causing with all these inventions? And are these portals dangerous? Did any monstrous critters appear from them? Mikey, I got into one. Mikey and I got into one. Nothing really happened. Actually, as long as you manage to get out in time, you should be okay. Well, we have a clue. Mikey, I'm going home to see if I can find out more about that email. Believe it or not, I am a master hacker, a technological prodigy. I live on an island located in the south. Just head, head near just head near Maiden Island. Come by and help me. Maybe we can find something. Well, I didn't understand any of that. I'm an Emsha Doggin. I'm here to challenge you. Another fight? Well, get ready. We're going to eat you like rice with tomato sauce. Let's dance to the rhythm. Mikey, you go ahead. I'll catch up on the way. I've trained hard. This gym will be a piece of cake. Alright, alright. So, I'm going to end this episode right here. If you made it this far, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye.